this thing has saved careers, including mine. It's revolutionized the trombone community, the ergo bone, what is it, how to use it, all covered in this video. Stick around. So it's hard to imagine, but indeed, I have met some people who still don't seem to know what this clamp is, what it's all about. The Ergo Bone from the Finnish company Ergo Brass has quite simply re revolutionized the world of trombone support. Quite simply, this clamp attached to the slide fits in this holder either as a chest support or as a chair support and basically makes your trombone weightless. The spring here and the adjustments available give a nice kind of buoyancy to the trombone, allowing the micro adjustments that we might need while playing. Who's the ergo bone for? In the first case, I would say for trombonists with chronic injuries. In the second case, for players returning from injuries. And finally, quite simply, everybody who's interested in injury prevention. Before we continue about how to use the Ergo Bone, hit subscribe please if you're getting value from these videos. I really appreciate it. I'm serious. Tap it now. You say you're supporting the trombone community. Hit subscribe. Um, how do we use this thing? Here I've got the chest support. Yauko Antira, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Yauko, the boss of Ergo Brass, has made a great tu tutorial um, about how to do the, how to put this thing together. So I'll do the short version. This is the, the chest support. It goes on like a vest over the shoulders, and these two clips quite simply clip into this plastic holder, and you you're ready to receive the clamp part, which is attached to the slide. So here's a close-up look at the clamp part, which goes like this onto the slide and screws in here. From there, this part fits snugly into the PVC holder. And thanks to this spring, you can adjust with this screw to the optimal height the spring allowing a very nice sense of buoyancy. So here you can see the chest support in a seated position. The genius is really the spring, in my opinion, because it allows the micro adjustments that we need as we go to, through the registers. The biggest tip I can give people who are new to the Ergo Bone is to have the height just a few millimeters higher than you might like it. This allows you to very slightly pushed down when you might need it, say, for a high register note if you're playing with that kind of pivot angle, which is quite typical. Going for slightly more height promotes a more open, expanded body posture, which is ultimately what we're trying to achieve with this device. So before I move on to the seated position, I just want to briefly show a, a personal hack that I've used over the years. I've no idea how I created it, but I had people telling me, Nick, you're playing that wrong. You're using the chest support wrong. Um, this part essentially is supposed to go on your back, but I guess I created a quick fix, which quite simply allows you to put the harness on quicker. So let's just time the, uh, the setup time for this chest harness in, in my variation. and we're there. So ultimately this hack is a personal preference that simply allows me to put the chest harness on in a f with a few seconds spared basically. Try out both ways, see what works for you. So here we come to the seated stick position. As you can see there's a rubber band attached to the top and a thicker rubber part at the bottom of the stick. That obviously goes onto the chair surface, and again, the clamp comes on here. This rubber band stretches above the upper screw. Again, this screw here allows practically infinite adjustments of the height. So what's the difference between the chest piece and the seated variation? Ultimately, I would say this seated position is more flexible if we're 
lifting the trombone regularly, perhaps in orchestral situations, teaching situations, this can stay fixed and you can put the trombone on the floor. On the chest piece, you'd have to be constantly taking it slightly up, out, and then down, so it takes longer. And of course, there's a bit of a bit of noise as you do that. Ultimately, I prefer the chest piece when it comes to body positions and body tension, let's say. It's the freest way to play. I found with the chair piece, there's always a slight pressure you're using with the left shoulder side, shoulder and arm side, pushing very slightly down. And indeed, I do notice that tension after some minutes, hours of playing. This does not happen with the chest support. If you're wondering, is Yauko the boss sponsoring me? No, he's not. Indeed, there is a 10% discount code in the description of this video if you'd like to buy any products from him, which I highly recommend. But he is by no means, has by no means asked me to make this video. I'd like to say thank you very much to Yauko because without this device, I don't think I'd be playing trombone professionally anymore. I know I'm not the only professional trombonist who can say that. So this thing really has saved careers. It's phenomenal. Interesting also, what other gear works together with the Ergo Bone? Because of this clamp here at the slide, we don't have all hand support options available. They simply don't fit here. For example, the fantastic Neotech guard will not fit together with an Ergo Bone. I ended up finding this Jupiter hand support for tenor trombone which works wonderfully well with the Ergo Bone. I've already talked about that in a different video, which I'm linking above here now. And as you can see, other hand supports, such as this one from Michael Rath and the uh, Edwards Bullet Brace, obviously fit no problem as they're on the bell stay. So finally, I'll just share my story with you. Why do I play with the Ergo Bone? I've been playing nearly 10 years I'd say with the Ergo Bone. I was studying in Holland with Ben van Dijk. I got some elbow strain to begin with which crept up to my neck area and in fact uh, Ben was kind enough to lend me his Ergo Bone. Within days of trying it I realized I had to own one of these things and bought one immediately in the Netherlands and I haven't turned back since. Originally I would only play it when I had to make the hours but this strain that I have had in my neck area basically never really left me. It became very chronic. And it was uh, actually a physio I had who uh, one day said, you know, don't see this as a, as a crutch, see it as an aid and use it all the time. It's just simply less tension when you play. Uh, it really turned a light on for me. And so for the last four to six years, I've been playing with it practically permanently. Now, interestingly, I also bought um, one of the first Butler C12 carbon fiber bass trombones. And recently, I was actually able to play with that without any pain afterwards in my neck area, which was very new for me. After many years of chronic pain, even after, even after a few seconds of playing, um, this is now finally gone. Now that's also to do with the carbon fiber slide, which I'm going to talk about in a different video. But my point is simply this. If you're having chronic pain, you need to rest. If you still need to play, you need to play with the minimum possible tension. And the Ergo Bone is the best device that I've found that does this. You need to give your body the maximum chance to recover, i.e. The, the lightest weight possible of the horn, which is precisely what the Ergo Bone does. So I'd like to reiterate one more time, I hear some people talking about this as a crutch, and of course, physically, you could say it does crutch the body, it supports the body, but psychologically, I want to urge any users or interested users of this not to see it as a crutch, but as an aid as a career saver, as something positive, so that we're inclined to use it as much as necessary. So any negative aspects of this product? Well, not really. Are we talking about losing any motion? If we had some kind of ridiculous dancing gig or marching parade? I don't think so. 
I don't think there's any movement that you couldn't do with the chest support. I would say perhaps the visuals put some people off, but even there, I don't think it's so weird or so unattractive, so visually impairing that you shouldn't use it if it's helping your body to play with less tension. So as a final thought, I would urge everybody to consider buying an ergo bone for two reasons. Firstly, it takes a little time to get used to, so if an injury was to occur, it would be better if you could already play well with this thing. Secondly, just imagine this, let's say our tension level without an ergo bone is, let's say a seven, just holding the weight, especially of a bass trombone. Now that seven goes to maybe a, a two or a three with the ergo bone. Now, wouldn't that be interesting just to try, just to see, can I breathe more freely? Can I stand more at ease? And ultimately, can I play with less tension? Now, you cannot tell me that we're not all searching for this tensionless playing. And if the trombone weighs next to nothing, you also can't tell me that this cannot be a useful tool. So consider it and let me know in the comments, has this saved your career? Has this helped you? Any experiences with the Ergo Bone? Feedback for Yauko, he's always very happy to hear that. So subscribe if you haven't, appreciate you and see you in the next video.